at the word of God today. Um, the word of God comes to us from Galatians 5 and verse 13. Galatians 5 and verse 13, and it says, For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. So let's talk about love today. Let's talk about love today. Serve one another humbly in love. That's what the NIV says. Earlier I read the King James Version. The NIV says serve one another humbly in love. So we're talking about serving today and also about love. And so let's see what God is saying to us this morning through his word. Amen. Um, love is mostly something you do instead of something you feel and you're gonna hear that a lot this morning love is mostly something you do instead of something you feel paul writes and he says you my brothers and sisters were called to be free he's went on to say but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh rather use it to serve one another humbly in love humbly in love so how how are you supposed to express your love in serving how are you supposed to express your love in serving according to one author as follows a son drives for five hours to be with his mother on her birthday that's love love is mostly something you do instead of something you feel all right like i said you're going to be hearing that a lot today a son drive, um, another one is a friend mentions a book he is interested in. His friend remembers and finds a copy to give to him for no visible reason at all. Love is mostly something you do instead of something you feel. All right, and a lot of us feel love. A lot of us feel love. <laughs> You're gonna hear that a lot. Another one is a middle-aged couple in a restaurant see a young husband and wife with little money and secretly pay that bill he paid their bill love is mostly something you do instead of something you feel here's another one a father knows how much his daughter likes having a clean car so he sneaks over to wash it for her by surprise love is something you do instead of something you feel People in a small group emailed each other throughout the week as a way of expressing their care. Love is mostly something you do instead of something you feel. A wise man once says this, that just as the three, uh, I'm sorry, just as the three laws of real estate are location, 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 the three laws of relationships are observation, observation, observation. Are you with me today? The three laws of real estate are location, location, location. But the three laws of relationship are observation, observation, observation. The people who give life to us are people who notice us. Let me say that again. The people who give life to us are people who notice us. They know that we love, they know exactly what we love and what we fear. Amen? When we work to truly notice someone else, love for them to grow. When we work to truly notice someone else, love for them to grow. When we work to truly observe other person in that self for forgetfulness our soul flourishes amen our soul flourishes so my brothers and sisters love grows when you serve people that's the bottom line that's exactly what the message is about today love grows when you serve others when you serve people love grows so this morning i encourage you to serve one another
humbly in love, as the Bible tells us. For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh. Don't use it for the flesh. But through love, serve each other. Serve one another. Serve your brothers and sisters. That's what true love is. That's what true love is. Love is mostly something you do instead of something you feel. God bless you today. And I hope you understand what we're saying this morning. And this word truly bless your heart. Because love is mostly something that you do instead of something you feel. Let's talk about love. Father, we come before your presence this morning and we thank you, Lord, for your word. We know, Father, that your word, oh God, is a light unto a path, Jesus. And, and so this morning, Father, as you have shown us, Lord, as you have shown us, God, that you love us, as you have shown us, Lord, that you care for your people, for your children. This morning, Lord God, we want to exercise that love, that compassion, Lord Jesus, in making sure we understand your word, in making sure, Lord God, that we exercise your word, that love is something we do instead of just feeling love. And so God, you did the ultimate for us, Lord, in showing your love. You died for our sins. You gave your life for it. And so this morning, we just glorify you and bless your name and praise you, Lord. Magnify you. Allow us, Lord God, to follow your example in giving what we've got. And love recklessly. Love. Love our brothers and sisters in showing them love in doing and not just feeling keeping it to ourselves but exercising it outwardly by showing our brothers and sisters how much we love them and how much we care we believe in your word and we thank you lord for speaking to our hearts in jesus name amen and amen and amen Playing the most hits, most hits through your speakers. This is GL365 Radio, pointing souls to Christ. Thank you, everyone, for listening to GL365 Radio and Web TV. Please follow us on all social media platforms at MyGL365 Radio. Check out our content on our website and enjoy the blessings of the Lord.